Look at that. How do you? Yesterday, we rode over 100 miles piecing Ohio bike trails together through the greater Columbus area. This is what it's like to be cycling across the country following the Great American Rail Trail. Oh. Yo, well, it's a cool ass hiker biker site right in London, Ohio. London. They got power here to charge all the things. I called this number right here last night, like at 2.30 a.m. And I got an answer and it was the police department. That's uh, what that was? Yeah, and then they gave me the code to get in the bathroom. And I just had to tell them my name and my, my phone number. I need to use some Wi-Fi. I should have been using that last it's night. Sun. I mean, I'm still, I'll cook here just because all the amenities. Yeah, I'll probably take that dookie too, but <laughs> this is the crib right here, cuz. Rusty Body Station? Yeah, I'm, I'm washing my ass. Big city in Columbus. Where? Mm -hmm. Okay, what are we doing, Christian? You know, we haven't really gotten much sleep these past few nights. We decided we're gonna take a nice break here. We'll get out probably in early afternoon. But it's a nice place to do this. You know, we can charge, shower, wash. Kind of feel a little lazy since we're behind <laughs> on miles, but it justifies it, I guess. Fucking super tired, man. These are like little platforms right here for you to set up your tents and stuff. It's a really cool area. This is a little shower area here. You come into like, oh wow. Damn, this is really cool. Okay. Oh, nice. I guess you can pause that if you want to read it. It's pretty cool though. Yep, here in London, Ohio, I believe. On some trail. What you got to say to the people, Christian? Well, we took a long, long rest here. We've been here since 2 a.m. We're just getting out of that camp. It's like 7.30, right? It's almost 8. I don't know, it's late as fuck. And my bum still hurts. <laughs> my saddle sore still hurts. Oh, we'll see. We're fucking mile zero now. We'll see how far we can get. Hopefully, we can be in the end of the night. Well, yeah, Denny, get up here. What, what you got to say Yo! to the people, Denny? What you got to say to the people, Denny? Oh, man. Damn, <laughs> he ain't got nothing to say to y'all. Get it. We're gonna rumble, we'll keep y'all updated. What you gotta say to the people, Christian? What you here in the fields. I don't know what kind of crop they grow out here, but they grow some type of crops out here. Probably some cone. Some corn. Look at that sun setting over yonder. It's beautiful, man. It's 820. It's 820. Get, the, the days last a lot longer around here. From where I'm from, right there. Right there <laughs> in the old floor. I'm about to hit a store about five miles away. That way. About four miles that way. Alright, even better. Get some caffeine? Nah, no caffeine for me. Whoa, mota? Yeah, mota. <laughs> Look at that bluebird. What? Right there. Oh, that's a bunting indigo. What a fucking beautiful. A buzzing indigo? Bunting. Budding? The atmosphere as we rode out late this afternoon was astoundingly serene. The sunset itself was inspirational, and the weather impeccable. The world around us seemed to be winding down for the evening, and we were just getting started. Out here! Hey, have a good one! But that night, we were not as nocturnal as we wanted to be. Not too long after dark, drowsiness set in. And this trailside shelter looked like an ideal place to lay our sleeping bags down. Well, what are we doing out here, Christian? Just chilling. Where we at? Middle of Ohio somewhere. We're getting close to Dayton. Oh, yeah. Damn, son. You lost that, man? I don't know if I can find it, dude. You don't see no cables over there? Nah, bro. Damn. Damn, what are we out here doing? Do y'all know? Mm -hmm. I think it's so desperate for calories, but I would... Oh, you got that. Oh, man, that's copyrighted material, bro. What you got right there? Well, bro.
Riding along the Mad River through Dayton, Ohio was pretty chill, and so were the back roads leading to Indiana. But round there is where I ended up separating from the group due to some trivial reasons. I rode into the night by myself on the trails near Richmond. I kind of wanted some alone time anyway. It was frighteningly eerie to be on a random trail, alone in the middle of nowhere, but for some bizarre reason, I rejoiced in it. I made sure to wake up early to maintain my first place lead on my friends, and the morning did not disappoint. Yo, good morning. Blessed to see another day. Beautiful bike trail. Survived last night by myself, thank God. Oh, so pretty, look at this, so pretty. You can't make it. What the heck? Look at these words of encouragement. Fuck you. All kinds of stuff being said. Good and bad. Okay. A lot of graffiti around these parts over here. It did look pretty nice, but like, graffiti kind of fucks it up. If you can see but that older dude up there is keeping me going he passed me a while back he almost left me out of sight but i had to go and catch up to him i didn't want to let him just drop me like that i've been riding a solo ever since late yesterday afternoon over some stupid stuff i just asked to use someone's tools because i didn't bring any of my own but i couldn't get them so i just bought them at a hardware store and fixed my stuff and they they kept going we got on the trail later, but I got on at a different point and it ended up passing them. I also slept by myself last night. It was like at a trailhead, there was like a shelter. Just pulled out the sleeping pad and the bag. Slept for like five hours from like 1 a.m. to almost 6 a.m. I took a 15 minute nap earlier. I'm feeling good. I'll probably be in Chicago tomorrow. I'm gonna go catch this guy. He's gaining some distance. Out here in this gap between rail trails, I was still in an imaginary race to stay ahead of Danny and Caleb, until a predicament brought my bike and I to a halt. Some dogs all the way down there chased me. I seen them coming from a distance from all the way from that house on that corner where I just came from. And I just ran back up this hill and they gave up. They're right over there, but look who's caught up to me. As I got back to this hill, I noticed that the boys caught up to me. I don't know if we're going to go confront these dogs. I don't know if we're going to turn around. They're not going to be too happy I made them run like that. Yo, there's some dogs over there. They chased me back over here. I seen them coming from a distance and I just started sliding. Uh, there's two right there, but I'm pretty sure there might be a third or fourth. We're just going to ride past now since we're in a pack. I guess so. They just tried really hard to run at me, so let's see what happens. Whoa, they're running now. I got reinforcements. Is that dude running? I mean, I know I, could, I know I didn't have to run, but I was like, "Get, get off, man, I'm off!" <laughs> I mean, he just wagged his tail. Yeah, isn't it? Nice. Hey, doggy, you made me, you made me run. I had to do all that. 
They both came. He's probably tired. They hit it from over there. And just like that, the trio's back riding together. That's a big fish right there, man. Took a nap on the trail, right on the trail. And now going down it into town. I think this is Peru. We're getting close to Peru. Did they get it done? Good nap. Yeah. You feel fresh? What is fresh? Everything just always hurts now. Whoa, what happened? It's oh, it's a snake. Oh, shoot. Of course, don't try to pick it up, dude. This this guy picks up like every animal we come across. It's a what snake? It's a snake, bro. It's a safe snake. I identified it for you. So we making it to Chicago today, Danny? What do you think, tomorrow? Tomorrow what morning. Tomorrow morning? Yeah. Whoa. All right, I feel you. Out here on the Indiana Rail Trails. I think we get off of it soon, and then we only have like a seven mile trail chunk until we get dang near close to Illinois. So we got a lot of road miles, a bunch. I'm trying to get some good food today. Some good eatings. Taco Bell? No. Hell yeah. No sound went off for me, bunghole. It's hot out here. I haven't swam this whole trip. Well, that water don't look too clear, but it's hot. I'm a little sleepy and I need to wake my ass up, I think. Getting up in this cold water going to do just a trick. Five, four, three, two, one. This all I need is, oh god, it's cold. Oh, my toe. Oh yeah, I did it. Fucking somewhere in, in Indiana. <laughs> fucking bitch. What's up? Yeah, we fucking out here. We just left the campsite. We was hanging out for hours. We just diddly daddled at a campsite for nine and a half hours. It wasn't even a campsite. It, wasn't even a campsite. it was just like a pavilion at a local park area. We literally took like three different naps, well I did. Eight, I mean, <laughs> what the heck? Some good rest, so I feel, I feel pretty good. But yeah, can't wait to get to Illinois tomorrow. I think we take a left, if I had to take a guess. We're just going off my guesses today. Yeah, that's how it Yeah, I don't know about y'all, but I gotta get me to a bathroom up in town or something. So, once y'all start diddly daddling and wake up, hit me up, I'll be in town. I gotta go when I gotta go. Good morning, though. Good morning, world. We got up late today, it's eight, almost eight, 10 a.m. I prefer to leave when it's still dark. Just a better mindset for the day, getting up early. Beating the sun, beating the local folks. But yeah, let's hope for a good day. Hope we make it to Chicago today. 
I'm always the first one up and ready to go. These motherfuckers take forever. It's a beautiful bike trail. You know, I think there's something so artistic about trails. And a bench right next to a nice trail. That, that's enough to make me happy right there. A good old trail with a nice seat. That's all I asked for. It makes me feel at peace, you know? I forgot my dang helmet at camp. They better bring it to me. I'll tell you what. Traversing the Midwest on these trails the past few days has been suspiciously easy. Blissful scenery, tranquil and away from traffic. You can find a place to sleep anywhere on the trail. Plus it's super flat. It seemed too good to be true. The mountains we rode through earlier in the trip made us resilient. And here we are now developing the skills to hold higher speeds on smooth terrain. But earlier today, we got a small taste of what's to come in the near future. Little did we know then, but the headwinds you hear in this video are soon going to become much more of an obstacle as we head west towards the Pacific. Maybe if we were in prime corn growing season, the corn stalks would shield us from at least some of these gusts. Hey, we made it to Illinois. Yeah. Legal marijuana here. Oh, bunny. Bunny rabbit. Hey, Christian. Huh? What are we doing right now? Damn, we're here in the, um, the Ramada. <laughs> we're recording some shit too, bro. We're doing, we're doing double right now. <laughs> 